one thing that seems to be popular on some of these videos I've been watching is recipes done with one of these little uh, travel buddy ovens. I've got a 24 volt one in here. I'm going to try some experiments. I've only cooked in it twice. I did pizza and pies. I'm going to try something else. I found myself a 20 centimeter uh, cake tin, which I think might work for doing other stuff. Fits perfectly in there. We're going to try something else today. So I'm going to warm it up. I'm going to let that warm up while I pack up my tools after building this cabinet and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. Now, I'm fortunate enough to have access to a full kitchen here, but I'm going to experiment with a couple of things. I don't want to use this in the field until I've got an idea on how it works properly. So, I found a chocolate brownie mix on the shelf. I'm going to mix this up. I would normally use a mixing bowl, but I'm going to try and do things in a way that I might do in the field. And I would probably mix this in a sandwich bag, so I'm going to try that. Now, volumetrically, that fits pretty well. And it should fit with the uh, the requisite butter and two eggs in there. But the eggs we've got are huge, so uh, the locally grown eggs. By the way, I'm going to whack two in anyway because it does seem to help. And I think we need to melt the butter. Anyway, we'll do that. All right, we're going to put a couple of eggs in here. And we'll pick the medium-sized ones in here. These are all huge. Um, that should do. One into a bag. Bags are easier to deal with in the field. Less washing and whatnot. Come on, egg. Decent strong shells on these ones. All right. So egg, let's get our butter melted. All right, so here's our melted butter, which is 80 grams worth. We're gonna go straight in the top. Now I'm going to uh, seal this up and try and get as much air out as I can, uh, for good reason. And that gives me room to uh, mush this around and mix it all up. Hopefully this works about as good as mixing it would normally do. This is very liquid, I think I probably should have done one of them eggs, because they're like twice the size of standard eggs. But we'll get there. Okay, we're pretty well combined. The, uh, I squeezed a little too hard and it popped open at one point. Not the end of the world. 20 centimeter baking tin and we have snipped baking paper at the corners. <coughs> and my throat is a bit raspy. So now we should be able to uh, use this a bit like a toothpaste bag or a pipette bag or something and just squeeze all this out. So goes the theory. Probably should have just snipped the corner off, you know. But experiments are experiments. Right, as much as I can get out of the top of the bag. Snip the bottom off. Pull the bits of plastic out of the mix. Because you probably don't want them in there. I mean, you know, I, some people might. They're a bit crazy in some places. This was supposed to be the cleaner way of doing it. Right, I think that's going to be good enough to determine if this is going to work and uh, I'll finish that myself. All right, we're back outside. Our batteries are at 26 volts. I've had this uh, on maximum preheating for uh, I don't know what, uh, about 20 minutes now. Hopefully it's hot enough and uh, we're going to put this in. I forget what the temperature said it needed to be. Oh, we've got to take that top pan out. All right, well that's a job for Leatherman. Because it's hot now. And can go in. And okay, I burnt myself handling that rack. But um, now the instructions say uh, 200 degrees for 30 minutes. Um, I did pies in this, which we normally do at 180 degrees, and they were kind of done. So I've just maxed it out, which is a bit above 200. And we're probably going to give it about 45. All right, so I've been next door talking to my 99-year-old uh, neighbor. He's turned 99 a little while ago. And it looks like this has turned off and the sweet smell of brownies is filling the air. Okay, let's see what we're looking like here. They don't look too bad. Um, I need a way to get these out without burning myself. 
I hadn't figured out how to do that yet. I think I should put some oven mitts in here. They look alright. They are certainly very hot. Let's have a look. For brownies, these look alright. It is a bit dark here, but uh, we'll take them in and cut them and try them out. But I'm very impressed so far. Alright, so it's a busy time of night, so uh, excuse the background noise. Well, these are still kind of soft, but we'll see how we go. Can we lift out here? Oh yeah, these still need plenty more time. Alright, while they're still hot, we might stick them back in. Alright, so another half hour, I've just come back. I can smell semi-burnt brownies, so we'll see what happens. So it's quite dark now, so we're going to turn on some light here. They look good. They're kind of soft, they're a little bit burnt on the edge. That's the smell I can smell up there. But they look alright, so we're going to let them cool and see how they cut. Alright, let's see how we go here. Yeah, much more solid this time. Much better. Alright, where's a good knife? Yeah, they feel about perfect. But we're just nice once they cool a little bit. They are kind of crispy on the bottom. Yep. They've had been crispier up the back. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're burnt on the bottom. So they probably had a little bit too long, or I probably need to put them in the top tray next time rather than on the bottom. So uh, we'll see how they taste anyway. All right, well, the family only really rejected two of them. They're not too bad. I think lesson learnt, next time I'll put them on the top shelf. Hopefully that fits. But, um, all round, not that bad. Anyway, hope you enjoyed making brownies. We'll probably try more of this if you like it. Let us know in the comments.